Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing Series. In this particular tutorial, we will be learning about the functions in Python. So let's begin. So what are the functions? So function is basically a block of a block of reusable code that performs that performs a specific task. Okay. So basically it's a block of reusable code that performs a specific task. So when we talk about the functions, so functions help to break down a large task into the smaller manageable pieces and allow us to execute a code only when they are called. Okay. So we need to call a function when we need to execute a function. Okay. So when we talk about why we need a function, so basically code reusability. So code reuse. So basically so we will be writing a function once and reuse as many times as we want. So let's take an example. So for example, you are working on an application and in application there are 10 pages where you need to add the two numbers. Okay. Now one approach is that for every page, you just go and write a code. So let me write down here. So you, you need to write a code 10 times for adding numbers so this is one approach and second is that write once and call 10 times so the second thing the second line here represents a function over here so we will be writing the add function now 10 times we will be calling and adding the numbers so write once and reuse multiple times the second thing is that it creates a module. So basically we are breaking down the code into the functions, which help us to organize the things in, into a small modules, which makes it cleaner and more understandable. Okay. And when we talk about the function itself, functions enable us to hide the complex logic behind a function call, which makes it simplify the code usage. Last but not the least, by defining a reusable functions, we reduce the repetitive task code, which enhances the maintainability. So these are the couple of things which for which we should be using the functions over here. So when we're talking about the functions, so basically whenever you need to write a function, you need to use a keyword called def def. Then you need a name of function, name of function, and then body of function mainly okay so what this particular function will perform now let's go to the pycharm over here and start writing a very basic functions so let's go here and i'll say functions one and let me create a very basic function over here so def and let's see i'm creating a greet function and what this greet function will do basically here def is a keyword this is the name of function and then here the body of the function so in the body we will be let's suppose we are just printing that hello welcome to um testing panda okay now if i go here and run this one it will not print anything over here because as we learned that in order to execute a function we need to call a function so how we can call simply we say great and that's it now you see that it says one usage here if i run this one now you will see that we are getting this one and as we learn that write once and use multiple times so if i copy this from here and let's let me paste for multiple times over here so if i run this one you will see that this particular line has been printed multiple times okay so we just need to write once and call as many times as we want so this is a very basic uh, function now let's go to some other examples and when we talk about the function itself functions can be parameterized parameterized means that we need to provide an argument or uh, the parameters and when we call it then we need to provide the arguments okay so basically 
if I go here, I'm likely to create one new file and I'm naming it as functions2 and this time uh, we will be creating a parameterized function and let's take a very basic example for the add function. So I will say dev add numbers and now obviously we need to add numbers so we need to provide the numbers. So for that I will be taking a argument over here num1 num2 okay because I need to add two numbers and here I will say what this will do. So basically when we are creating the parameterized function we have also a concept of return. So return means that I will say that okay what this function will return when I call this one. So I need to call this function with with the parameters okay I will I will give this function two numbers then what this function needs to do. So basically I will say okay I am giving you two numbers in return you need to give me a sum of that numbers. So in this way there is a keyword called return. So this particular function will return num1 plus num2. Now the function is ready. So simply I will say um, sum sum is equals to okay and now I am just calling my function add numbers and here this particular function needs two values basically. So whichever number I want to add here I will say 5 comma 7. So you see that this is num1 and this is num2 and I will simply print this sum over here. So if I run this one now so you will see that we are getting the answer to one. So in the similar way I can you know use it as many times as I want. I will say someone and here I say 34 7 and then I will print some 1 and you see that we are getting the values. So basically this is a very simple parameterized function with the return value. So we are saying that this function should return us num1 plus num2. Okay. And when we are talking about the types of function, so there are two types of function. So basically, if I go here and write over here, so one are basically built-in functions and one are basically user-defined function. User-defined functions. So built-in basically, when we talk about the Python, the Python has a numerous built-in functions. So when, if I talk about this print basically, if I go back here, so this print is basically a function, right? Then there is a length, there is some, so there are so many functions available in the Python, which are built in, provided by the Python. And there are other functions which we create, which we call it as a user defined functions. So here, this add underscore numbers is a user defined function. Okay. So when we talk about the parameters and the arguments, so parameters are the variables. So these are basically the parameters. Okay. These are the, because here these are treated as a variables. So parameters are the variables listed in the function definition. So this is a function definition, right? And when we talk about the arguments, so people are always confused with the parameters and the arguments. So parameters are these and the arguments which are we providing as a value here when we are calling the function. So these here, 5 and 7 is basically the arguments over here. So these are the parameters, num1, num2, and 5 and 7 are basically the arguments over here. And when we talk about, let's, let's, let me give you more examples around the functions for the return value. So let me go here and create another function file. And let's suppose you want to, to create a function which multiplies a number. So simply def, I will say multiply and so it should multiply a comma b okay and and it should return it should return a into b okay and simply here we say like multiplication or the result simply i say result is equals to so i will call the function 
and I will provide the two values like 5 comma 4 okay and if I print this one you will see that it will give us a 20 result over here so let me copy this one paste it here you will see that we are getting 20 so here again let me repeat this is a keyword to define a function name of the function here we are providing a variables which are known as the parameters and then this is a return because this function will return a into b and here the value 5 and 4 is basically an arguments we are providing to this particular function okay and in some cases for example there's a concept of a default parameter values okay so if the parameter is optional we can assign it a default value if no argument is provided for that particular parameter okay so what this means is that i simply remove this one i will say let's create one function so greet greet underscore user and here now so what i do is that we need to provide name equals to guest okay so i will explain this shortly what does it mean okay so here outside this one we need to provide this and if i say print now again the print is also a function so we say hello and then plus and say name then we say plus then exclamation mark okay and once we are out of this so basically here if i call this one so basically you see that if i call this one what happens so it will take guess as a default argument because i'm not providing providing any kind of the argument over here so if i run this one so you will see that hello guest is printed but at the same time what i can do is that if i provide a name then what happens so i will say for example testing panda so it will also work over here okay in case if user is not providing a value or the argument to the function then in that case it will go with the default value okay so you can also go with the nested functions like writing a function inside a function so let me create one more file over here and say nested functions and here basically we are saying that we are creating a function inside an other function okay so we said uh, let me write um, outer function outer function and what this outer function will do it, it can do anything okay but in the simple words inside this i can write another function i say for example def and inner function and this inner function will return for example it will return and i say um for example i am inner function okay and if i go here and print so i will say inside main function or the let me write it as outer function okay and now let's print and inside the print what i will do is that i will call this inner function okay and then after this i will call the main function okay me or my outer function okay so if i run this one you see that i'm getting both the values inside outer function this one and i am inner function which belongs to this one so basically you can write function inside a function which is known as the nested functions and also there is a other way um, um, of writing the function which is known as the lambda functions so lambda is 
an anonymous function expressed in a single line. And now when we are writing the function in a single line, it is useful for a simple kind of the operations. So uh, let me create one new file and say lambda function and when you talk about the lambda function itself so simply uh, let, let me write one liner basically uh, let's calculate the square square equals to we need a keyword called lambda x colon x so basically i'm typing this x colon x in and this is the square x double static to this is the formula and that's it now simply this is a one-liner function basically, which is known as a lambda function. So here I say, let's suppose, let me call this one square and square of, for example, five. Okay, so I'm just calling uh, this square function inside the print so that we would not be writing a separate print statement for the, this particular function. Okay, you say that we are getting the 25. So basically, a lambda function is an anonymous function expressed in a single line. And this is useful when we need to write a very simple operation, just like this one. Okay. So let me uh, summarize this today's tutorial. So basically, what we have covered is that what are functions, why they are used, how to define and call a function, parameters, arguments, return values, default parameters, natural functions, and the lambda functions. So if I go here, so basically function is a block of reusable code that performs a specific task. So code reusability, maintainability, easy to read, easy to write, easy to call. Okay. And when we have to define a function, DF keyword is used, the name of the function, the body of the function. Okay. And there are two types of functions, built-in functions and the user defined built-in which are provided by the python language and user defined are those which we are writing over here and when we talk about the difference between parameters and the arguments over here so basically we go back here so let me show you so these are the parameters num1 num2 are the parameters and num here 5 and 7 are basically in arguments so we can also go with the default functions where we have what we did is that in terms of default, we provide a default parameter. So here a default parameter. So if we are not providing any kind of arguments, then by default value will be used over here. So this is all about the functions in Python. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.